Having your equipment database set up in Rentman will save you time when documenting your jobs since you can quickly plan pre-made items with all relevant information. Additionally, it ensures that you can easily manage, maintain, and track your equipment. However, creating each equipment item separately can take a long time, especially if you have thousands of items in your warehouse. That is why we offer the option to import your entire equipment database using a CSV or Excel file. To get to the Import menu, you can click on the three-dot menu next to the Add Equipment button in the upper right. To get a template file, you can download our example from further in the Import menu or our Support Center. Alternatively, you can simply export one or more of your existing equipment items and use that file as a template. We recommend the version from our Support Center for first-time users as it has helpful explanations on how to fill it out. If you are just starting out, you can just import everything as a new item. You can also choose to skip existing items if you use the same file over and over and add new entries to it. When you want to update items, for example, you want to increase your prices across the board at the beginning of a year, you can choose to update existing items with new data. When doing that, it is best to only import the columns that you want to update to avoid unwanted changes. By selecting this option, you also choose whether you wish to add new QR codes next to existing ones or to overwrite existing QR codes. Note that overwriting cannot be undone easily, so it is important to be very careful and deliberate when taking this option. For now, let's add a batch of new items including serial numbers. Make sure you read the terms area as it will help you avoid errors and incorrectly imported data. If your file is ready to upload, drag it in or click to upload. In the case of equipment, we work with effectively two sets of columns columns based on the equipment itself, and columns that are relevant to individual serial numbers. In your import file, the latter are marked with the words serial number in brackets at the end. An example of this is visible here. We have a QR codes column, which refers to the equipment level in general. The QR codes serial numbers column is for the individual QR codes on each serialized equipment item. Make sure you do not add the latter to the former or the other way around or the import will fail. Any duplicate values on QR codes will result in errors. There is only one exception. Note how the QR code for the item remains the same for all serial numbers. This is because the individual serial numbers entries are added as different instances of that item with unique identifiers. The individual serial numbers QR code will need to be unique. While importing, you first choose whether you want to pick an equipment or serial number column. After which, you see the relevant selection in the lower drop-down menu. If you want to import serialized equipment, you need to have each individual serial number on its own line. Make sure that you have all the columns you want to import filled out in your file. If you don't want to import specific data, remove that column fully. So rather than having the header of the column but no values, remove the header as well. This is especially important when updating existing items as it avoids overwriting data with blanks. You can see here that the system will try to automatically match the columns from your file to the corresponding item in the system. Not all columns that you can export from the system can be imported. However, those columns will be marked as such. Once you've checked that the columns are matched, proceed to complete the import. Now you can select the folder structure and the warehouse you want to import into. You can specify subfolders in the import file in the dedicated folders column. If you work with multiple warehouses, 
a good approach is to import the equipment with all stock relevant to one warehouse. Afterwards, update the items with the stock of your other warehouses. Just make sure you select the right target location at this step. The actual import process might take some time if your file is very large. While you can import a few thousand lines at a time, you will need to split your file into smaller sections and import them separately if you have tens of thousands of items. All imported items have an automatically generated tag associated with them. This allows you to find them easily if you realize you made a mistake. You can remove that tag afterwards if you want, of course. Now your equipment is freshly imported and ready to use in your upcoming projects. By creating the equipment in our system, you create a unique identifier for it in the form of the item code. For serialized equipment, each serial number also has a unique ID. You can use these identifiers to update equipment and avoid any potential problems. As mentioned earlier, only include the columns you want to update and remove any empty ones. You can read more about the import process on our support center. Good luck and thanks for watching.